one, one road trip. What do you what do you take away from this? What are the big some of the big picture takeaways that you got you noticed about the way you guys competed on this trip? Yeah, uh, I mean rising to the occasion, knowing we have to compete, knowing uh knowing what's at stake right here, so just being able to lock in and figure it out. What did Draymond give you guys tonight? Uh, he gave us everything from the defensive end, offensive end, knocked down shots, guarded Wimby, rebounded. Yeah, he had, he, had, he had a really good game. What are the, from a team perspective, what are the challenges that go into the game planning for a guy like Wimby? Um, it's different. You know, he's a different archetype. I mean, just um, kind of good creative, figure some different things out. But, I mean, just um, figuring it out, game planning it. We'll see, uh, what do you think is key to, to sustaining the momentum that you guys are able to kind of build on this run here on the road? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think what it what it came from is knowing the situation, and the situation still the same. So, staying together, stay, keeping what we've built, keeping what we got going on. It's a weird thing to ask right now, but before the game, Steve was telling us about the first time we were talking at the start of your rookie year. Told him something that your dad said to you about the sailor and the sea. Yeah, yeah, smooth sea has never made a skillful sailor. See, he didn't remember. You said he very nicely. Got <laughs> to him a little bit. Um, do you appreciate uh, how far you've come since then? Yeah, definitely. Like I like like that. It hasn't been a smooth sea. It's been uh, bumpy. It's been. Uh, I heard somebody else talk about it, like. Uh, you don't be surprised that the bo- that the boat's gonna rock during the storm. It's supposed to. Like uh, the life is a storm. And everything is a journey. Uh, not expecting everything to be straight. It's um, just being prepared for whatever. You're halfway to a motivational speech right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Cool. All right. Step in. Uh, Miles will be next. <laughs> on this trip. Um, anything's on the table for us. Everything's possible. Um. Obviously, we're playing really well right now, 14 to 17 um, on the road now. And um, so just trying to figure out at home and, you know, coming into the year, if you told us that we need to figure out at, figure it out at home to, to get in the playoffs, I think we'll take it. So um, obviously, we got, I think, eight, eight left for maybe four or five on the road left. So just trying to take care of business, go home for one and then back out here for two. What does Draymond mean to this basketball team? What do you give your estimate? Yeah, he's a big reason why we've won 14 to 17 on the road. Um, you know, he just impacts the game in so many ways. Um, and his influence outside the the basketball uh, lines is, you know, tremendous to all the young guys. And he breeds confidence on us. And, um, you know, tonight, you know, he was playing like he was at Michigan State. He was doing everything, shot the ball well, played well. Um, so it was great to see, uh, especially from, from me as a young guy. It's- Play in the first quarter where he went up for a layup, didn't get, didn't get, didn't get any mm-hmm. foul call. Steve got a technical afterwards. Um, did that get you guys going at all? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Whenever, you know, Draymond gets a technical, Steve gets a technical, I think that just naturally, you know, boosts the momentum in our favor. Um, and I think it did for the most part. Um, obviously, to start the third quarter, the starting group did a good job of, you know, making our run to start. And we just kind of held that lead um, until the end of the game. Obviously, they made some shots late, but we were able to hang on. What's it like constructing a game plan defensively for a guy like Wendy? It's fun. Um, it's fun, and you get to see the coaches' creativeness, um, how their brains work in terms of schemes and stuff like that. But for us, it's just kind of taking away his space. Obviously, in space, he's you know really hard to stop, maybe even impossible to stop. And then when he gets close to the rim, it's pretty much you know you're at his mercy. So just kind of crowding him, pushing his catches out. I think we did a better job the last time we were here um, than tonight. But you know, 22 shots, um, made only 10 of them. So we'll live with that. What did you think? You guys went super small at the end. He was guarding you. Mm-hmm. Possession or two. <laughs> what did you make of that? Yeah, I think for me, naturally, if it was just a regular big that would guard me, I would probably go screen for Steph. Um, so either big would switch or I'd be open. But, um, yeah, I mean, usually guys guys that they want to help off of would be me. So um, for me, just trying to you know get a rebound. Obviously, Draymond got the clutch one and threw out the clay. Um, but yeah, no matter who's on me, just trying to make plays. When you guys saw that, I was a huge play when Draymond had a great day box up. What was the reaction on the team? Yeah, I think that's what, what sealed it. Um, when I shot it, it looked really good. It felt really good. Um, obviously, it spun out. But like I said, Draymond doing a little bit of everything tonight, um, you know, won us the game. All right, so we're in here. Four straight to close the trip. What are your 
your biggest takeaways overall from the way you guys played throughout the course of the trip? Did what we had to do. Um, Minnesota game was a tough, you know, way to to start the trip with the you know the fourth quarter and feeling like we we let one go, but responded well. You know, with the teams we played, those are the ones that you have to win. Keep yourself in the fight, and you know, we did that. No style points really for any of it, but you know, you get out of here with four wins and keep the momentum rolling. Uh, you know, the schedule, going home for one, going back to Texas for two, like we have a uh, tough task ahead of us, so we needed these. What's been, what's, you know, it's been a pretty jam-packed schedule, a lot of road games, like you mentioned, you know, back-to-back coming back here. What are some of the challenges in managing a schedule like that, and what kind of grit and mental toughness have you guys kind of shown in, in, in dealing with that? Exactly what you said, it's just what it requires. Um, you know, being in the present, just how do you win this particular night? You no, know, we said that a lot this year, but everybody, different different guys stepping up on on given nights. And you know, tonight, way, the way Draymond played was unbelievable. You know, making his presence felt. He does it on the defensive end. He does it with his matchups, you know, making those extra plays. But even tonight on the offensive end, being aggressive, taking what the defense gave him, gave us a huge boost. You know, Trace doing what he what he does, um, what he's been continuing to do, getting better every single game. Moses off the bench playing impactful minutes. So the collective effort of you know whose whose turn is it to step up and give us you know a great a great effort. Can, can you talk a little bit about withstanding the punches? Every time y'all made a run, it seems that they responded with with a little run of their own and kept closing the gap. And, uh, it's interesting because you look at their record and it's. You expect them to, I guess the, the narrative might be that they might lay down and quit, but they, you know, they're playing for, you know, confidence and, and uh, you know, just vibes on trying to finish the season strong. And you're playing free, so anytime we had separation, they were just, you know, responding. Like you said, Wimby was hitting a bunch of threes. Uh, Devontae Graham off the bench had a couple of big shots. It seemed like they were always, you know, responding. And in their home building, you expect that's what you expect. So, like I said, no style points for us on every time we really had a, a built of momentum. Um, they were right there, you know, with an answer. But thankfully, we had we had enough down the stretch. Clay hitting that big shot, you know, in the 30 seconds left. Steve shared with us that you had a chance to spend some time with your family today for Easter. Just what did that mean to, to have your family here today for Easter Sunday? It's just a reminder about the <clears throat> sacrifices of, I mean, everybody who was in this building, you guys, coaches, players, you know, the sacrifice you have working on on, uh, on Easter weekend. And thankfully, you know, kids are a little older where they could travel a little bit and uh, not make it too crazy on my wife. <laughs> uh, but it was nice to see them in the stands and be able to spend the morning with them. But, you know, it's not easy what we do. and. It reminds you of the sacrifices you know we make, our family makes, to uh, you know allow us to do what we do on the court. So it's nice to have him here. What does this mean to you? Uh, obviously, my faith is a big part of you know who I am, and I like to call it Resurrection Sunday in the sense of uh, acknowledging that He is risen, and that's you know the meaning of what we celebrate. So. As a parent, especially, it's nice to be able to share that message with my my kids and allow them to find that meeting for themselves. So um, it gave me a good perspective just to play today and have fun, you know, knowing uh, you know what today means. Steph, can you take it back to that first possession? Uh, they turned over Wimby. Is that kind of a reminder just that he's there and he kind of catch you off guard? Yeah, I mean it's. Uh, <laughs> He's he's a presence. He's he's different in that respect. Where I had a lot of daylight and thought I could get it up. I saw him coming, but thought I could get it up quick enough. And even the way he blocked it, it still looked weird. I'm looking at the bench. It's like, is that goaltending? Like, nah, he probably got it. So just a reminder, yeah, if there are options out there, but you can't disregard you know where he's at every possession just because it's something you haven't seen before. He slipped a few past him. Say what? He slipped a few past him. I'm trying to think. Maybe I got one earlier on. 
you get one over him, though. Considering that when Draymond boxed him out in that key rebound, it's just a box that they teach him in school. That's a, uh, like you said, uh, fundamental four-year college, uh, high Division One level type play that uh, yeah, you learn through the ranks. I don't think any NBA coach teaches that. That's just you know it or you don't. Draymond's, he's obviously uh, got the fundamentals for a reason.